Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining. Sorry about the little delay for those of you guys joining me on live. I want to make sure that the connection is coming through. For some reason, my internet has been spotty today and I just got it to work and then it turned off again right before the stream. Uh, so I'm using my hotspot for my phone. So if you guys can give me a thumbs up or a heart in the comment section and let me know that you can hear me and see me and everything is coming through good, I would very much appreciate that. Hi, everyone. Wonderful. I got nervous. I wasn't going to be able to see you guys. I get so excited for these streams. I'm going to go ahead and check through the comments. Um, for those of you who watched the pre-recorded version of this, welcome as well. We are going to start with our yoga in about three to five minutes, so you can skip ahead a little bit. I just like to give people some time to get on here and get my face up on a screen wherever you guys get it. Um, cool. We have a hello from Barbados. Welcome. If this is anyone's first session, let me know. Just say it's your first session in the chat box or in the comments below. Here's a request I would love to get close Closer to sticking my stacking my knees in cow face pose. Can you help? Yes, I can help with that. We have a request for handstands, and I always tell you guys, handstands are not my strong suit, but I can definitely recommend you guys um, some videos for that. First time, welcome Ashley. I'm all good, cool. Okay, so whether you guys have been coming to class for a while here online or if you come in person or this is your first time, this is an hour long flexibility class. It is focused on getting you guys more flexible. Yes, I do include bits of yoga here and there. Um, it is definitely yoga inspired. I am yoga teacher certified as well. Um, so we do incorporate breath work, and you may hear some, a lot of things that you would hear in a yoga class in my stretching classes, but this is geared toward gaining flexibility effectively and safely. Okay, cool. Um, any other requests before we get started? First time. Hi, Olivia. Okay, yeah, I can definitely recommend. I love watching um, Kino Yoga. Look up Kino Yoga Handstand. She's one of um, the teachers that I learned from when I was first learning. All right, let's go ahead and get started, everybody, since I'm a little bit behind schedule. Go ahead and let me scoot my mat up here. That way you can see me a little bit better. All right, bring yourself to a comfortable seated position, back of your hands to the tops of your knees, go ahead and close your eyes. And bring your attention to your breath. Sit back here. There, I got the music on. As you exhale, let all of your air go. Breathe in through your nose for three, two, one, and exhale, three, two, one. Inhale, three, 
two, one. Exhale, three, two, one. Take a couple more for full breaths just on your own. station so you may hear that from time to time. Next inhale open your eyes pull your shoulder blades up towards your ears and back we're going to take some rolls on our shoulders 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, bring it around forward, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, drop your chin to your chest and rock your head side to side. Next time your head is over to the right side, hold there, opposite hand down towards the floor. And you guys who take my live stretch classes often, you'll notice that my warm up and a lot of the same uh, movements that I do throughout the video are pretty consistent. So hopefully you start to pick up a flow so that you're able to do this sort of practice on your own and you don't always have to rely on me, even though I do love having you in class. My goal is always to teach you so you can kind of learn the format and apply it to your own body. Also, um, I can't really see the chat box from back here. So you guys, please be respectful and I will be checking it time to time. Switch sides with your head. Gently release, fly back to center. Bring the soles of your feet together, let your knees go wide into butterfly pose. We're gonna get pretty deep into our hips today. From here, begin to take some circles with your upper body. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, switch directions, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, bring yourself back to center, soles and feet together, allow yourself to fold forward if you guys can. Reach your hands forward and you guys stay here. Hold that, let me check something real quick.
I just saw some last minute requests for some stuff working towards splits and also some more restorative posture for lower back. So I will incorporate that into this practice near the end as well, just so you guys are aware. I try to keep these online sessions good for all levels. So if you're more advanced, you can come and push yourself or if you're new to this practice, um, you can take it at your own pace. From here, walk both hands over to one side and roll. Switch sides. One more full breath in and exhale back to center. See so yourself all the way up. You're going to reach for the bottom of your right foot. I believe that I am here, you guys. You're going to pick it up and then press that leg back and out to the side for 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold, hold, hold. And go ahead and release. Switch sides. Lift the opposite foot up, press back. Ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one hold it there. And go ahead and release right back to center. You guys are going to bring yourselves over to all fours. We're going to move through some cat-cow movements and some good movements for our spine. And just so you guys know, on the live, we'll be checking the chat in about 15 minutes. So if you have any more requests for today's video or future videos, let me know. Let all of your air go. As you inhale, drop your belly, inhale, look up. Exhale and round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Two more. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Two 
Last one, inhale, arch. And exhale, round. From here, you guys are gonna press back into your yogi squat, so tuck your toes. Get yourself up off the ground. You guys are gonna do your best to get your feet all the way flat down to the floor. Use your elbows to help press your knees out to the side, palms together, heart center. And hold it here. From here, your fingertips are gonna come down. As you inhale, you're gonna straighten both legs as much as you can, and exhale, bend down. We're gonna go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and next time you're up, you guys are gonna bring your feet together, fold in your forward fold, bend at your knees, grab for opposite elbows, hold here. And we're gonna get some good work into your forward fold. I was doing this a ton yesterday, so, and stretching my hamstrings, so my hamstrings are actually pretty sore. That's a good thing to note, too. Being sore after you stretch is normal. It doesn't mean that you did anything wrong. You may just need to go a little bit easier the next day. I've been filming so many stretching videos for this new project that's coming out very soon, so I've been stretching a ton. You guys are gonna bring your fingertips down. If you have blocks, you can grab them and put them under your hands. If not, just reach towards the floor. Start to bend into one knee, then the other. Every time you straighten one leg, press into it a little bit more. Remember, you want your hamstrings to warm up and wake up. Slowly, slowly, slowly getting it so both legs can be straight. Work, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right and hold. Toe heel your feet out wide again. Come back down into that yogi squat. And we're gonna get to work on our winding child's pose and our frog pose. So go ahead and come to all fours first. We're gonna get into our knee circles. You guys can be on your hands or on your elbows, whatever is more comfortable for you. Let's start with the right leg. Pull it into your chest, up and around 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Same leg. Switch direction, press it back. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, 
Good job. Right back to center. Time to do the other leg. Woo! <laughs> Left leg into your chest and around. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. I'm struggling with these today. <laughs> Switch directions. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. Okay, press yourself back. Hopefully, you guys are doing good. We're gonna get into um, our wide knee child's pose, eventually working in to a frog. So we're gonna take five minutes to get there. So if you guys need to come out of the stretch at any time, come back into the stretch, especially if you are a beginner. Five minutes is a very, very, very long time to hold a stretch. Um, but eventually you guys should be able to work up to that. And I see a couple more requests on screen, which I will look at in a little bit, but we're going to start here. I have my little knee pads because I have bony knees. So if you guys need to get a cushion for your knees, go ahead and do so. I'm going to set my timer. We got five minutes. And you guys must be feeling active today because of your requests for splits. So take a deep breath in and exhale. Make the first bit of the stretch super easy right here. Yeah, we can do some active splits, Worry, That sounds fun. Go ahead and scoot your knees a little bit wider. or halfway through our total hold. So you can bring your knees a little bit wider. And if you can, separate your feet into a frog pose, go for it. We have two more minutes total, wherever you guys are holding, remember, you can get out of the stretch at any time and get right back in.
One more minute. Three more full breaths, breathe in, and out, breathe in, and out, and breathe in, and out, then go ahead and come out of that stretch, however it feels right, I usually come forward, come all the way to your belly, and as you inhale, Press up to your cobra pose. Exhale and forward. Let's move through a little flow. So you guys are going to inhale, press up through tabletop. Exhale back. Inhale round forward and roll all the way down to the floor. We're going to do that four times. Four. Three, two, and one. All right, you guys. Let's come to seated with our left leg extended, our right knee bent to the side. How many of us are on here? 130 people on here. Love you guys. So happy that we're here. As long as you all keep coming to these live stream classes. I'm going to keep having them. I'm enjoying it. Okay, so left leg is forward. Right leg is bent. Where I'm going to give you two options. Option one is to hold here and stretch over your left leg. Okay, so you can totally choose just to hang out here. Matter of fact, we're gonna hang out here for like one minute before we even add in the other option. So just hold here. And while you guys are holding, I'm going to explain the active split alternative. So, we're going to keep, can you see these slide across the floor for me? I'm going to have to put it in. Let me grab this thing. Let me grab this shirt that I can put on the floor so that my foot can slide. So what's going on is I'm stretching with the left leg, my right leg is coming back towards a full split and then pulling it all the way forward. So again, you can either choose to hang out over that left leg or everyone else is gonna go 10, back and forth, back and forth. And if you have your full split, feel free to go all the way into it. Let's do it. The inhale. And exhale, 10, 9, we'll move a little slower for those of you doing the full split, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, 
three, two, and one. Wherever you're at, bring that right leg up and forward, bend your left leg. And we're going to start by holding forward over the right leg for about one minute. That's kind of a fun active split exercise. Three full breaths here. Three. Two. One. And option to stay here or you want to move to that split exercise, go ahead and set your foot up on something so that it can slide on the other side. Deep breath in. Exhale, push it back, and then think that thing. <laughs> Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one, all the way back to center, relax. How are you guys doing? We're about halfway through our practice. And I do spot a question. Someone is asking, where do I buy the blocks that I use? Uh, literally, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, they always have blocks and they're cheap, like $5 or less. I always go there and I just buy a bunch. Also, Amazon is good too. Okay, All right. For about the next five minutes, I'm going to work from forward fold into our straddle pose. Then after that, we're going to do a more restorative back series. So if you're on here and you're more of a beginner level, you're more interested in the relaxation uh, and the restorative bit of the practice, just stay tuned. Stay with me for the next five minutes. And then we're gonna do a really, really nice cool down all together, just focusing on our breath and getting ourselves feeling good and we'll be done completely on our back. So stay tuned for that. Right here, you're gonna take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, bring yourself over forward, hold there.
you rather hold any stretches, really bring your attention to your breath, do your best to feel present in your body, present in this moment. And I always say this, um, but I'll say it again. If you're ever feeling like you have anxiety when you stretch or you're just, you're ready to get out of the stretch or you're holding your breath, that's a good sign that you're into intense of a stretch and you just need to back off. So even just sitting here, even with your hands behind you, if you feel that as a stretch in your hamstrings, that's really cool. Stay there. From here, bring your legs just a little bit wider and keep holding that stretch. Again, if it needs to be this for you today, keep it there. Bring your feet a little bit wider. Sit up, and if you can, bring your legs a little bit wider. We're going to move wider one more time after this, just so that you know. Two more minutes in this hold. Coming into the last minute, if you can scoot your feet a little bit wider out, go ahead and do that. Breath in through your nose and exhale last. Release out of that stretch. And you guys are going to bring yourselves all the way to lying flat on your back. And as promised, we're going to end with about a 20 minute, 15 to 20 minute restorative series. So as you guys lay on your back, Come here with your feet wide and your knees together. And I know some of you were asking about restorative postures for your lower back. This is one of the best ones that there is. You can see here my feet are kind of shaped like this. I 
once you get into that position, just hold there. You can have your hands on your belly or wide with your palms open to the ceiling. As you lie here, just bring attention to your breath. Almost get into a, like a sleep or a meditative state. From here, keep your feet exactly where they are, let both knees fall over to the left and then to the right, and rock gently side to side. Next time, both of your knees fall over to the right, go ahead and turn your head to the left and hold for a slight twist. Switch sides, feet stay where they are, knees drop over to the left, head to the right, keeping your eyes closed. Up in through your nose and exhale, pull yourself right back to center. You guys are gonna bend your knees, pull them into your chest, your hands go through your thighs, you grab your ankles, let your knees fall wide and hold. If you like, you can rock a little left and right, that's also good for your low back. Go ahead and keep your right knee pulled into your chest, straighten your left leg long, hold here, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, go ahead and switch.
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Both knees into your chest. Again, rock a little left and right. Then we're going to settle into a hip opener. Bring your feet together and your knees wide. Again, hands can reach your belly or they can be to the floor. Palms open. I put this bun right in the back of my head so I can't lay down. From here, pull your right knee into your chest, keep your left leg where it's at, and then cross it across your body. So now both legs are going over to the left. Your right arm extends, your head turns to the right, and hold here. Two more full breaths, breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Return to that center position, soles of the feet together, knees wide. From here, right leg stays where it is, left leg comes up and over for that twist, head turns to the left and hold. Two more full breaths, breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Come to center, pull your both knees into your chest, draw some circles with your knees for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and 
one, an option to just pull your knees wide, or if you like more advanced posture, go ahead and go for your happy baby pose. We're gonna hold for five full breaths, breathe in and out. Four. Three. Two and one. Release your legs. You guys can roll yourself to the side and then come up to see the position. And once you guys are up, just find a comfortable cross legged position. I have to put my hair back up. And we're going to finish off with some hip opening here. If you guys have a block, you can use a block. If you don't have a block, you definitely don't have to. If you don't have a block, set yourself up like I am here, one foot in front of the other. If you do have a block, you can intensify by bringing that front foot on top of the block. And as you exhale, lean over. Now you should feel this in the outer hip of the front leg. Two more full breaths here, breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Sit yourself up tall, squish the foot that's in front or on top. Take a deep breath in. As you guys exhale, lean over again. You guys have been so active in the comment section today. I'll have to go through and read as soon as we get off. And I will stick around for a couple minutes if you guys have specific questions about game flexibility, anything related to that, I will answer at the end of this slide. This has become one of my favorite stretches lately. Especially for you guys who work out. I've been hitting the gym a little bit more often. Your outer hips and your glutes will get super tight. So this is a really good way to loosen it up. Hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, come back to your comfortable seated position. Let's close off with three big breaths all together. Everyone let their air go so we can all align ourselves with each other. If you guys have not done one thing this entire practice, everybody can do this together, even just you cross watchers on here. So let your air go. Align yourselves. Big inhale, reach both hands up. Exhale, hands to heart center. 
two more like that. Inhale. Exhale. Big inhale. And let it go. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you. Namaste. I'm going to hang out for a couple of minutes. I'm going to read through any questions you guys have already asked so that I can answer those. And just so you guys know, this um, it will be posted and upload. This has been recorded and will be uploaded and posted to YouTube directly once I get off the live. So you guys will be able to come back and access this anytime. Uh, you can also go back and watch any of my other live streams. And... Um, do those anytime. It's a free, full, one-hour stretch class. I don't know why you wouldn't take advantage of that. So, yeah, and I will be here on here on Thursday as well, same time. I'm experimenting with doing this an hour earlier than I was before because my East Coasters was saying uh, 9 to 10 is easier for them than 10 to 11. So if that works better for everyone, then that works better for everyone. So... Let me see what you guys are up to up here. Some of you guys have been talking about my floor play and maybe doing some online dance classes as well. So if there are more of you interested in that, I could totally get on here and maybe teach some routines live. I don't know if I do that on this channel or on my floor play channel. I'll have to think about that. Jorge says you help me a or who, uh, you help me a lot. I learned so many stretches for my lower back pain thanks to you. Uh, thank you, thank you. I love that. Um, here is a suggestion. I think you should have a friend with you so you could do yoga with another person for your next video. That sounds fun. We could definitely do that. I could teach some people. Sorry, guys, I'm just reading through the comments. Um, what a great workout. Really enjoyed the slower pace. I've been kind of in a slow vibe lately. I've been feeling it. And it's really, really good for your flexibility to hold your postures. Welcome, Jimmy. This is your first time in class. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I just skipped to the bottom. I'm almost there. Happy Tuesday. Here's a question. Were you born flexible? Did you have to work at it? I started working on my flexibility when I was about 16. Um, definitely wasn't born flexible. Definitely was pretty not flexible in like middle school. Um, I just have these memories of not being able to like touch my toes. Um, but when I was 16, I wanted to become a cheerleader. And that is what started my flexibility journey because I was going to get the splits, damn it. I really was. That's what started everything. <laughs> um, some of you guys are commenting about vegan recipes from the vlog I posted the other day. I'm so happy you guys are loving that. Uh, I'm moving apartments soon. And it has a really nice kitchen. So I want to start doing like a little cooking show. I'm going to plant that seed right there. So if you guys are interested, um, <laughs> yeah, let me know. Angel says, you're going to LOL, but I sometimes twerk in my frog pose. Girl, I do too. Actually, it's, um, 
it helps you. It's a thing called reciprocal inhibition uh, when you twerk in your frog pose because you notice that your glute is opposite of your groin or your inner thigh, right? So when you squeeze your glute muscle and then you relax, it's actually going to help um, relax the muscles of your inner thigh. So you're not crazy. It actually really does help. It just looks awkward. So usually do it at home, not like in the gym in public. Uh, Ali says, hi, girl, come to NYC. I want to come. I have a couple friends there. I need to come out there soon. Last time I was there was for Fashion Week and during COVID. So it was like really hectic. Um, Patricia, this is perfect time, but I have done all classes for this live one. Already can feel the difference. Yay. Um, Ali says, yes, we love a floor play routine. Uh, Ryan says, what's the best muscle to stretch if I feel impingement when attempting secondary split option we did? Can't tell if it's front of the hip flexor or back. It seems to break down my lower back posture. I can't exactly picture what's going on there. You could, I'm trying to think of what you're saying. I'm thinking maybe what, be, what you might be saying it could help if you like lean back to the side so that you can work that until you get stronger or your hips uh, move easier. Maybe that's what you're going for. Paul asked me if I can wave at him. Hi, Paul. 6 p.m. works well, amazing. And the sun's still out, which is great because before I had to finesse my lighting a little bit more because it was so dark. Uh, Thank you, Sophie, for joining. Joining. Love the idea of a live floor play class. Yeah, you know, I always want to do it and go live while I'm teaching class. Um, but because of the music is copyrighted and it gets flagged, like I try to go live on Instagram live so you guys can learn with me, but automatically boop, boop, no. So also, if you guys know... Um, Music artists with music, let me know. I always love to collab that way. That way, um, when I know them, we don't have to worry about copyright and that kind of stuff. So that just kind of, that helps a ton. Email me. <laughs> Live dance classes. Um, how do I get the best results in front leg splits? That is a long answer. And I have a ton of splits programs on my website, addisonbriana.vhx.tv, which will soon be switching over to an app, um, which I did tell you guys April 15th, which most of it will be done by then, but I think I will need the weekend to finish up some things. So I will post as soon as it's done, like as soon as all the, I just want, I just want them all to be done. Uh, but you can still subscribe to the website in its current form. Just know that there's a lot being added, so things may move around while you join right now. Still a lot of great content on, to, on it. Can people who don't do the splits apply for floor play? I'm not sure what you mean by apply for, for it because anybody can come. Yes, I get a lot of beginners in class. Don't be scared by the people that you see performing in the video. Um, not everyone is in the videos, and that is my... Those are my intermediate advanced students who are in the videos most of the time. I do actually get mostly beginners in class. Um, can, yes, I would recommend it. I think dancing really helps you just uh, with body awareness as well. How do we incorporate, oh, we can incorporate weights and stretching. I would have to get some. First time here, excellent job. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys. Well, that was fun. I'm glad that my internet service allowed me to come here and stretch with you guys. I'm going to end this live and I will see you guys again on Thursday, same time. Have a beautiful night and thank you so much for tuning in. Bye-bye.